Welcome to the installation video of Hoi Miles HMT 2004-T208. This series of videos consists of five chapters. Overview, Preparation, Microinverter Installation, Network Configuration, and Plant Creation. The installation tutorial applies to the following microinverter models. You can refer to the user manual if you need more information. Please note that only those who have been properly trained or who have demonstrated relevant skills can install and maintain this microinverter under instructions. In this video, we will guide you through the installation process of a 4 kW roof top PV system, which is composed of two HMT 2004 T208 microinverters, HMT cable, and eight PV modules. First of all, let's take a look at HMT 2004 T208. In the middle of the microinverter silver panel is the parameter label. The lug on the right side is the sub 1G wireless antenna. The connector on the top right is the AC connector, and the outlets on both sides are DC connectors. The screw hole on the middle side of the handle is the ground hole. On the back, there is an LED light to indicate the microinverter's working status. In this installation, the AC trunk is composed of HMT extension connector, HMT trunk connector, HMT connection cable, and AC and cable that is built with HMT cable terminal connector. Use the HMT extension connector to connect first microinverter and the HMT connection cable, and then use the HMT trunk connector to, to connect the HMT connection cable and the microinverter's AC connector to the AC trunk. When the distance between two microinverters is too far, you can either choose a longer connection cable or use extension connectors to join the connection cables together. Finally, use the AC and cable to connect last HMT trunk connector in the AC trunk. Now, let's take a look at the tools that we are going to use. For installation tools, we need electric screwdriver, diagonal cutter, wire stripper, crimping tool, torque wrench, and steel tape. As for other auxiliary tools, we need M8 bolts, metal tie wraps, grounding accessories, marker pen, grounding cable, DC extension cable, and ACN cable. The microinverter accessories we will use are HMT connection cable, HMT extension connector, HMT trunk connector, HMT cable terminal connector, and HMT disconnect tool. Installers should wear overalls, gloves, helmets, and safety ropes. Now, we come to the installation of the microinverter. Before everything begins, we should mark the appropriate installation location of the microinverter according to the plan. Step 1. Fix the screws at the predetermined place on the rail. Hang the microinverter on the screws. Tighten the screws. Then, route a continuous grounding cable through grounding accessories of each microinverter to the AC grounding electrode that conforms with local regulations. When all the microinverters are installed, plug the AC connector of the microinverter into the HMT extension connector until it clicks. To disconnect the connections, you must use an HMT disconnect tool. Select the HMT connection cable of a suitable length and plug it into the HMT extension connector until you hear the click. Please make sure the marks on the engaged ports are the same. Now, let's move on to the next microinverter. Plug the, the HMT connection cable and the microinverter's AC connector into the HMT trunk connector. Now, let's make the AC and cable with the HMT cable terminal connector. First, Prepare an AC cable of a suitable length. The cable should cover the distance from the end of the AC trunk cable to the distribution box. The HMT connector can be disassembled into five parts, and you should seal the three parts over the AC cable in the correct order. Strip off the outer jacket with a diagonal cutter. To ensure the cable easily fits into the wire holder, trim the N, L2 and PE wires by 5mm 
and then use a wire stripper to strip the insulation to reveal 7 to 8 mm conductor. Insert the conductor into the terminal pin and crimp it tightly. Next, insert the crimped wires into the wire holder. Ensure that L1, N, L2, PE, L3 wires are in the correct slots. Slide the cover, gasket, and nut over the cable assembly and firmly tighten the nut with the HMT disconnect tool or a torque wrench. Connect the AC and cable to the last HMT trunk connector in the AC trunk and fix the connector with tie wraps for each connector. Finally, peel the serial number label from each microinverter and affix them to the corresponding place on the installation map. Connecting PV modules is to connect the microinverters to the PV modules. Please determine whether you need DC extension cables based on your situation. In this project, we used extension cables for some modules. First, place the PV modules onto the rail and use the DC extension cables to connect the PV modules to the microinverter. Finally, move the PV modules above the microinverter and fix them. Repeat the above steps to connect all PV modules. Now, we need to connect the AC and cable to the distribution box. After obtaining the permit from the grid operator, then energize the whole system to complete the microinverter installation. Don't forget to go through the checklist to see if every step is done. Next is the setup process for connecting the microinverter to the network via the S-Miles installer app. Before we begin, Please prepare your DTU for data collection and ensure that you have updated your S-Miles installer app to the latest version. Type in the username and password. Click Login and you will be directed to the Plants page. Click the O and M icon at the bottom of the page and then click the Network Configuration. Then the app will alert you that Wi-Fi is not connected. Click Go to Z to redirect to the WLAN page. On the WLAN settings, select and connect to DTU Hotspot. Return to the O&M screen and click Network Config icon. On the Wi-Fi settings, manually input the name and password of the Wi-Fi to be connected, and then click the Send to DTU button. The network configuration takes about one minute to complete. Please wait patiently. Now, we're going to start plant creation. Let's go back to the plants page. Click plus sign on the upper left and start building your plant. First, you need to fill in the name of your plant and other basic information. Please avoid duplicate plant names. Then select the plant type and enter the capacity of your system. Please note that the plant type cannot be changed once it is created. So please select one that suits your installation situation and the installed capacity. Then select the area where your power plant is located. The map will automatically locate your current area. You can locate the area either by dragging and zooming the map with gestures or by manually entering detailed address information. Next, select your time zone. Please make sure you select the right time zone because a wrong one will affect the display of your daily power generation. Then choose your region. You can upload a picture of your plant if you want to add the cover. Click Next if everything above is confirmed. Go to the Owner Information page. Click the icon in the upper right corner to add an account. In this step, you need to set up a login account, password, username, and fill in email and phone information. Then click Save. And you can see the owner information you have added. Then click Next to add devices and set layouts. Click Add DTU and add the DTU serial number. The serial number can be entered manually or added by scanning the barcode. After completing the serial number entry, click Add Micro and enter the microinverter serial number. Then click the Finish button below. Please note that if you want to add more microinverters, just click Add DTU, fill in all required information, and then click Next to complete this step. Then we can move on to lay out your plant. You can change the array name, fill in the azimuth and inclination of your modules, and then select the layout pattern.
Click Save and enter the PV module layout interface. Adjust your modules according to the actual installation and click Next when the layout is complete. Upload the installation map of the power plant or you can also directly click Next to start more settings of the power station. Fill in the rest of information about the plant, then click Finish. Now, your power plant is turned on and starting. You can see the detailed operation status of the microinverters in the power plant you have just created, and control the microinverters in a remote and timely manner. That's all about this video. Thank you for watching.